say. What happens when you can feel capability of yourself but don't do it for deen and dunya purposes? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You don't do it for deen and you do it for dunya purposes and you have capabilities. Then enjoy this dunya as much as you can. Because if you're not working for the deen, for ahirat, Make sure you enjoy this dunya as much as you can because the ahirat is not for you. We are all here working towards our ahirat. This life is fake. It is illusion. It is delusion. It will pass. There is nothing real. There is nothing valuable in this world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Holy Prophet is saying, Allah does not give value to this world and everything in it as much as he gives value to one wing of a mosquito. A mosquito has four wings. One wing. So you want to give value to this whole world. Your value is less than, less than, less than, less than the wing of a mosquito. That time, the hereafter that is real, that is forever, will be forbidden to you. Not because Allah is saying, we forbid you, but because you made a choice. Islam, yes, Islam is all about making choices. The right choice that you make, you don't blame no one that time. You made the choice. That's why it is a thinking man's religion. It is a mature religion. It is a religion of responsibility. You can't, it is not a religion of magic or a religion of, oh, I say one thing and everything is going to turn to paradise. No. The believers are those ones that wake up always with the hope of the mercy of Allah and the fear of the wrath of Allah, keeping it balanced at that time. That is a believer. So if you're not going to be using your capabilities for this world, for the sake of Islam, for the sake of hereafter, for the sake of of your own spirituality and that time Ahirat you have made it forbidden to yourself you are going to be responsible for yourself whatever that is in that grave whatever that is in paradise or whatever that is in the hell you put it in in the grave you put in what is in the grave today Shaya Fendi is saying every day Look to see what you send to your grave. Make sure it is filled with good things. Make sure it is filled with jewels and diamonds. Because you need that currency in the hereafter. You need those jewels and diamonds to be used in the hereafter. Majority, they're not looking at that. They are so confident. Oh, I pray five times a day. I do this. I make some zikr. They don't look at the intentions, they don't look at the actions, they don't look at what happens, they don't watch their tongue, they don't see, they refuse to see where their words reach. Because they're so blind, they've completely killed their hearts. Maybe you say something, but those words, they reach to another person in a different way, another person in a different way, those words can be harmful. And you know that if you just seal your mouth, you would stop these things from happening, although it is not maybe 100% your fault. But you know what? It is 100% your fault. If you know this is going to cause damage, why are you doing it? In Islam, it is also forbidden for us. Say you have some money, it is your money, anything that is valuable, to put it somewhere where the public can see and you walk away from it. It is forbidden to do that because you are tempting people. You know something may happen. Why are you tempting people? Why are you putting it there? Then what about our words? You know it's going to be taken wrongly and you know you've so many times it's been won. But you still you are doing it. If it is the ego, we know what to do with it. If it is gaflat, that you've been just tricked by it, you're in big trouble. Because that one may trick you again and you will fall for it. 
and again, and you will fall for it. And again, and again, and again, and every single time you're tricked, you will, be fall. you will fall for it. You may have all the ammunition, you may have all the weapons, everything to fight, but just by simple trick you lose everything, you're no good for nothing then. Understand how your ego tricks you. That's the time you'll be able to protect yourself from the fire that you've sent to the grave and the fire that you sent to your own hell. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.